Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see another advantage of embedded interface. This is part 2 of the embedded interface series. I have already made the first part and that is about the advantage of using embedded interface when you need to do unit testing. So if you haven't watched that, please go back and watch it and then come back to this video that will help us and also rather all of you to get some understanding about what is embedded interface and how we can use them. So before starting today's video let me give a short introduction about what is it about. So we may come across scenarios in our programming with Go language where we may not need to override all the methods that is defined within the interface and also we may choose to intercept the method that we are actually calling and do some validations on our own end to make some decisions. So we are going to see that using a use case. So let us begin. So in last year's video, we have seen how we have structured this code. We had a student who is trying to take a course in Go language and he needs some money to join the course. So he goes to a sponsor, which in this case is his father who has a job and he asks for money to his father and the father gives him 100 rupees. He also has a savings of his own where he is putting 50 rupees and then together it's becoming 150. So when he is calling gather money which is basically adding the money that his father is giving and his own savings and is returning 150. So the scenario that I described today can be understood through, through an example. In the same example, we can say that the instead of asking to his father, the student may choose to ask another member of his family. It could be his brother, right? Before that, let me add another method to give the example. So let's say the sponsor also earns money. So earn money. Because without earning a money, the sponsor can't give away any money to anyone, right? So now as soon as I define that, as you can see, it's giving an error that father does not implement sponsor, missing method earn money. So it's necessary for us to override all the methods defined within the sponsor interface. I mean, in Go's case, any in interface that one struct is trying to implement. So let us do that. Let's say the father earns a thousand. Also. So if I do that, the error goes away. That means now all the conditions are satisfied to override a method to, to, to override uh, the interface. So now we can run the code and should give us the same result. As you can see, it's 150 and that's what we're expecting. Now, like I was explaining, let us say that the student goes to a different family member, in this case his brother, his, his elder brother, who doesn't yet have a job and asks for some money. So, so that would be, so you can copy this part, that would be his elder brother. So let's say elder brother, elder brother. And he doesn't earn any money, so let's remove that and let's see. E. And he can get some money, that is say 80, right? So, since he doesn't earn any money, so let's say he has his own savings. So, let's say savings int. And how much money he gives? If he has, if he has more than 80, more than 80, he gives 80, right? 
then if it gives it then we should of course deduct this savings equal to e dot savings minus 80 however if it doesn't have more than 80 he just returns zero you can't give more money right to keep it simple i have taken the constant 80 so let's say get up equal to so now this makes sense right so 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 now we need to override the sponsor right so how do we do that we need to I mean we should ideally override this one as well earn money so if we do that earn money and let's say a random number return to thousand this is fine so if now I check sponsor go to implementations it highlights both elder brother and father but if I don't do this, if I don't earn money, because we the elder brother is not actually earning any money, and if we try to see the implementations, you can see it's only highlighting father. So it's not considering that elder brother is actually implementing this interface. It's because we are not defining the earn money method for elder brother. So what can you do in this case? Because earn money does, isn't applicable in this case. What you can do in this case is define the interface within the struct. So you can say sponsor. So it becomes an embedded interface. The interface is defined within the struct, right? Now if I go and see, go to implementations, as you can see, Elder Brother appeared again. So this is absolutely fantastic, right? We don't need to actually override all the methods that is defined in the interface when we put the interface within the struct. So that gives us a whole new opportunities. We can actually only uh, override only one single method and get away with it. So this is the benefit of using an embedded interface. And see how we are customizing it, how we are intercepting it. So. Not only are we giving money here, we are also saving the state of it. So we have this savings and we are able to put some conditions over here. So this gives us a lot of benefits. So now we can say that I want elder brother to sponsor the student and that would work. So run this. And you can see it's only 50 right now because we have not given any savings to the elder brother. So let's give some savings to him. Savings, let's say 500. So now we can easily give up 80. So, or let's keep it close 100. So if I run this, voila, 130. That's what we expect. So 80 plus 50, 130. Now, if I try to gather more money, would it work? It shouldn't because then this value would become less than 80 because it's only 100 and it would work. It shouldn't work. So let's run it again. As you can see, it's only 50 because in this case, it's returning zero when the second time the, 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 gather money method is actually calling give money which is in turn calling this implementations and when the first time we sent 80 second time it became 20 because it was 100 here so 100 minus 80 20 so that time it was only giving us 50. so this is the benefit of using embedded interface we can actually get away with overriding only one method at the very minimum and also we can customize the behavior so that's it for today's guys. I hope you like this video. I hope you get to learn something new. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, and if you like this video, share a thumbs up, comment in the video. Uh, if you want to learn something new and exciting about Golang, I'll be happy to help. Thank you.